I gotta get something off my chest before I even start this video. <laughs> uh, I have been hesitant to talk about shows like this, mainly because I know that most of the people that watch this are from my school and are probably going to talk to me about this afterwards. Uh, they haven't, which I'm very happy with because I would just go off and just be anxious as hell about it, but this is where I gotta just bring it out there. This is a show that... <laughs> God, Jesus! This is a this is a show that I didn't never really thought I would talk about. I completely forgot I put it on the wheel, and then while making the script, I remembered everything about this show. <laughs> oh Jesus! I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say at all. The amount of blatant ignorance that I had with the fact that the show was still on the wheel is amazing. Because I didn't even know that was still on there. But it's already too late. You already saw that I landed on the show, so I have no choice. But I'm going to go into this with the same amount of enthusiasm as I had with every other show. Because I want to. So, uh, with that little rant out of the way, here is the one and the only High School of the Dead. High School of the Dead, a.k.a. Apocalyptic Academy High School of the Dead, is an action, horror, supernatural, and harem anime directed by Tetsuro Araki, who also directed shows like Death Note, Guilty Crown, and Attack on Titan. It was written by Yosuke Kuroda, who also worked on Excel Saga, Helsing Ultimate, and then later on SAO Gungale Online, and it was made by Studio Madhouse. It came out in the summer of 2010 and was 12 episodes long. It started out as a manga that was made by the late Daisuke Sato that made seven volumes from 2006 to 2013 and was put on hiatus due to Sato's failing health as he would later die in March of 2017 of a coronary heart problem. And it's because of his death that the manga and the overall story of High School of the Dead will forever remain unfinished. As for the anime, the story is set in present day Japan as it follows a group of high school students and the school nurse, because why not, as they escape from their high school and fight off against a horde of zombies in an apparent outbreak not just around Japan, but also around the world as well. As they are trying to avoid getting bit and turned into zombies because it's that kind of logic we're working with here, they also have to face off against other survivors they see along the way, rescue a little girl and her dog in the process, and question their own social morality. But you probably didn't pay attention to that part due to the amount of panty shots and easily the greatest Matrix adaptation ever in the history of everything in this world. <laughs> off here with the animation as to say the least it's eye-catching both through the action scenes and the uh, <coughs> obvious shit making sure that they're crisp and smooth for the viewer <laughs> god damn it I never said any of these out loud before but apart from all of that the backdrops and action scenes are very well made and considering that two of the animators for the show are known for their over-the-top animation and other edgy anime, you know that this shit's going to be top-notch. The sound overall was pretty consistent as everything sounded like they fit in there perfectly. The voice acting is very fitting with all the characters. I would definitely say the same thing for the zombies. And the background music does a really good job of not only setting the mood during the action scenes, but also shutting up when it needs to, doing a really good job of switching environments between action scene music to suspenseful music, bringing you towards a realization that there are zombies around you, they want to kill you, and there will never be any shortage of them. There are a few things I have to say in terms of the characters, but first I want to introduce them first, just to give you guys a little bit of context. First there is Takashi, who is the male character, the male lead. Uh, you have Rei, who is the female lead. You have Saiko, who is the athlete. Saya, the rich girl Sundere. Koda, the fat kid. Alice, a seven-year-old girl that the cast rescues, and my personal favorite, uh, the school nurse Shizuka, and it should be pretty obvious. Really, the, the few things I have to say regarding some of the characters and 
their overall development is actually starting with their development. The pacing screws up the development of the show and when you watch it, it comes off as very cheesy. Uh, they go a little too far trying to create development with that bad pacing. Uh, one example is that in a span of six episodes, there was just this typical romance. It turns into a straight up harem triangle. It, it just goes off the wall. And uh, at the end of the day, if you really look at what the characters had to offer, only three out of those six main characters, not counting the seven-year-old kid uh, really matter and they really have development and that is Takashi, Rei, and Koda who is the only character I know I said I like Shizuka but that's just a fucking joke this is actually my favorite character because he is written wonderfully he is funny he <laughs> he is relatable and he knows way too much about guns and as for the other three well Surprise, surprise, they were clouded up with fan service. Yeah, this is a fan service show with zombies. It's a show with boobs and zombies. Really, how I saw this, overall, the characters in this show are underdeveloped and either gives life to the show or takes life away from it, is how I would say it. It depends on the character. If you're looking at Takashi, Rei, or Koda, they will definitely give life to the character, uh, give life to the show, not the character itself. Uh, and for the rest of them, uh, just, they, they, they take it away from them. They add fan service. But throughout all of this, really, the one thing that really gets me into the show, why I say at the end of the day, this show is very entertaining, regardless of how messed up everything else is, is the story. Why? Well, even though the story doesn't really show us anything special, the show decided to drive their attention towards the reactions that the characters have, either with each other or with the obvious elephant in the room, which is there's a bunch of zombies that want to fucking kill you. The one thing that I can accurately compare it to is to, let's say, a reality show. Mainly shows like Real World, some cases Hell's Kitchen, and Big Brother. Uh, shows where people are put together in one place while they also have little battles with each other in the process while also trying to reach towards a goal. I'm not saying that High School of the Dead is anywhere close to a reality show because believe me, it is not. Nowhere close to that. I'm just saying that it's similar to those shows in terms of the reactions and little arguments that the characters have because unlike those reality shows, High School of the Dead pulls it off very well and it comes off as both funny and entertaining. For me, when I finished High School of the Dead, it, I thought it was a very entertaining hot pile of garbage. There was just too much fan service to handle, but what made it bearable was that it was balanced with badass action and pretty funny comedy relief, especially from Coda, who I think is the only character that really saved this show from going down the shitter, I swear. If something like this was made over here, which I'm pretty sure it has, I'm probably look it up during editing, it would come off to most people as a fucking mockbuster of a popular zombie show, and guess what? I would still watch it, because regardless, it would still be fucking entertaining. If I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I really don't like being in a position of suggesting this show to people, because this is, uh, this is, uh, it's been a while since I've reviewed a show of this caliber. The last time I reviewed a show like this was One Room, and that barely got off the ground, uh, if I'm gonna be honest with you. But if, uh, if you were to ask me who I would suggest this show to, I would suggest this to people who like zombie shows, zombie games, zombie films, because there's a fair amount of that uh, in this show. I would suggest this show to people who like etchy shows, because there's a fair amount of that. And I would also suggest this show to people who just like action in general, because guess what? there's a fair amount of that. The one group of people that I don't suggest this show for are people who are under 15 because you're just not ready yet. <laughs> High School of the Dead has some stuff that you're just simply not ready for yet. I mean, yeah, there's there's a lot, there's enough of this show to pass around to everyone. Hell, just for the fun of it, I'd suggest this show for people who also want to play a drinking game where they take a shot every time there's fan service and there's a special prize for anyone who survives while they rescue Alice, the seven-year-old girl, at like episode seven. <laughs> there's a special prize for them and that's life. What the hell am I saying? But no, it's uh, it's nowhere near the greatest thing in the world, if you were to ask me, but regardless, it is still fun to watch. Uh, if the show paid attention to its pacing and character development a little more than they did, I would rate this a little higher than I originally did. And I originally had this show at a 4 out of 10, but after remembering how much this show made me laugh due to how stupid it is, I'm going to bump the rating up. I'm going to give High School of the Dead, aka Boobs and Zombies the Anime, a 6 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching this video. This video was uh, 
uh, surprisingly fun to record. I just kept laughing and going just going off multiple times in this video. If you like this video, if you also like me going off and just complete improv, hit the like button down below. If you want to see more anime review videos in the near future, you can hit the subscribe button on the screen or down below. If you want to see any anime review videos that I've made in the past, there are clips on the screen, clips, clips in the description, and clips on my channel. And with that, my name is Payne, and I'll see you in the next video.